Waiting for the morning to start the episode. Waiting for the morning to start the episode. Maybe we can start the episode now. Hey, yeah. Hey, folks. Flip here, and welcome on back to the hardcore world. We're back in the village today with an absolutely jam-packed episode because it is Mountain Update Day. Yes, I'm purposely standing here because everything is new in this area. On top of that, I want to jump back over to the bamboo farm we started in the last episode, finish that thing up, decorate it out, make it look a lot better. And then on top of that, if we do have the time, I would love to be able to get another village building inside of our town square, being the butcher. But first, my friends, I am once again asking for your subscribing support. Today is the last day of 2020, and I am less than 750 subscribers away from 400,000 on YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. Thank you for your generosity. That all being said though, I have spent a good while in here gathering up a lot of birch leaves that we're gonna be using to decorate out that area. But first and foremost, we've actually gotta jump underground into the storage room. That is because a big goal I've had for this world here is I always wanna have everything connected by roads. And right now we don't have a road to get out to the bamboo farm and I don't like that. I don't like that the only way I can really feasibly get there is by flying above ground. We don't have too much gravel. Do we have any andesite? We've got a decent amount. Okay, that'll be nice. That'll get us started here. First and foremost, we've got to figure out what type of route we want to take. I love having all these piston doors, by the way, to get ourselves over to the bamboo farm. Let me close this one up right here. I really want to get a slime block launcher to take me out of the floor, just like up here real fast. It'd be super nice. We've got this spot right here, which I think would be a good spot to bring a road out. And then I was thinking we could almost just go straight back in this direction and somewhere back back in here i'm a little lost we should start seeing some bamboo right down in here perfect it's because it's all chopped down look at that the bamboo is doing its job over here absolutely fantastic what i'm gonna do in the meantime is just run this guy here he can go ahead and keep breaking a bunch of these things and i'm gonna work on getting that roadway in adding some extra spruce logs here to the coffers is never a bad way to go so i'm totally okay with chopping them down a lot of these trees and it should be pretty easy i think honestly right through here and then this is going to be kind of the rough point, so I think we can bring it down. Instead of having that straight line that I was talking about, we can add a little character to it by bending it through here. Now, as I was getting this roadway in over here, I wanted to actually quickly talk about something. It kind of popped in my brain, and I realized that next episode is actually episode 25 of this series. And what I typically do on series like this is we do a world download and a world tour and all that stuff. So next episode, we're going to do a lot of village house building and then do the world tour and download so we can get some of the little bit more polished and finished off for that one there. So I'm super excited about it, but I want to give you all a fair heads up on this one on the way that I do world downloads nowadays inside of my Minecraft worlds. I've unfortunately had to deal with a lot of people stealing work that I've done in the past and a lot of things along those lines. So I no longer offer a public world download. But if you would like to get your hands on this, I do still offer them available to anybody who's a YouTube member, a Twitch subscriber or a patreon member and that video is going to be releasing in january so if you would like to get your hands on it to save yourself a few bucks is wait until january 1st to become an active member on other those because you have to be active in order to get it and i don't want you to get double charged if you're just wanting to get the world download but i just want to give you all a heads up on that so it's not a shocker i know there's a lot of people probably thinking like oh my gosh flip how could you do that how can you blah 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 charging for blah 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 well i i this is kind of an art form for me minecraft is very much an art form and it's something that i put a lot of time and effort into doing and trying to make the best things that i possibly can and I don't like when my artwork is taken without my permission, posted to other places, and just doing all that sort of stuff. It's something that I think is very unfair for people to do, as I've found many servers in the past that actually average over thousands of players per day have actually posted my old Building with Whip world map and used it as an adventure map on their world and like claimed to have done it themselves so i hope you all understand that one i'm gonna get this path here finished up and then it's off to the bamboo farm the really cool part about this bamboo farm down here is that every single time we fill up one of these double chests worth of items we can smelt one chest worth of things because two bamboo is able to smelt one item so it's not gonna be a hundred percent efficient but it's better and it's basically free fuel at this point in time but the road is completely in now and I absolutely love it. My inventory is an absolute mess, but we got a bunch of dirt, which is great. The really cool thing now is we can actually get a very, very cool glimpse of the mountains while being over here. And it looks so absolutely nice. I love having this pathway. It really leads in just this awesome scene. I can't wait to get some more custom trees around here. I'm almost thinking a little pond could be cool down in there. 
and this might be an episode of distractions of building random things instead of building what we meant to do because that sounds like a great way to spend the next little while first and foremost though is i want to come over here and improve our bamboo farm a little bit you can see a lot of the bamboo is uh getting shot out back here so it's not able to be collected a lot is coming out to the sides and everything and i think if we make a little bit of a wall of leaves coming up three four tall and making it look a little bit like a hedge now the reason why we're using leaves here is because slime blocks actually don't stick to them i know this isn't going to be perfect because well bamboo grows a lot taller than this and i don't want it to be perfect i just want to have some sort of a wall going around it to help at least we are already getting free fuel, so we don't need to get 100% of all of the free stuff. The hedge is fully in around the bamboo area, and it seems to be working pretty well and everything like that. I want to move on, however, into building up the little pond down here. I think it could be kind of fun. I'm definitely in one of those moods right now where I just want to build whatever comes to mind, and wherever I'm at, I'm just like, yep, let's do that. That sounds great. So I'm thinking right now we can just clean this area up a little bit and have the pond just fill up something small right in here. Got a bunch of stuff in hand here that we can use, but most importantly, we've got a little bit of a splash of blue water over here, pun 100% intended, and we can just stretch this across. I think since we're in the middle of the forest, this pond doesn't need to be too deep, so I'm just going to make it one deep. You know, <laughs> more puns. I seem to have made an oopsie, though, and I cannot... No, it's right there. Okay, thank God. I was getting really worried there for a second. I was like, did I lose the shulker box? If so, I'm really sad. But anyways, one thing we can do in here is start adding in a few cattails with some green stained glass panes. And then we've got, I have them in here somewhere, sea pickles, look at this, it's a cattail. I know it's not the most perfect thing, especially when it connects to the edge like that, but I think it still works out pretty well. I like it. I think it's a fun little ad that we can have in here of having something new that doesn't already exist in the game. We can make our own little details. Outside of that, we can use some bamboo on the shore here, and then on top of the bamboo, we can actually go ahead and place a flower pot, and it looks like a bit of a bigger cattail, especially when you come around and bone meal the thing, and it'll stick up into that guy. I think it looks kind of cool, and I have a few mushrooms on me here too. So there's another little detail we can use to add in here and help kind of lead that we're going towards a bamboo farm by having some bamboo over here. Being the smaller little guys, but it still works out. Of course, we can't have a pond out here without a little bit of sugar cane along the edge as well. And then a few more leaves. And then I believe I have my hoe in my ender chest. We do, and then I also brought some carrots over here and I actually found a seed while we're breaking some grass so we can go ahead and throw both of them down. I really like to have these custom pond builds and things like that just feel super lush. Like there's a lot of stuff going on with them, almost like a watering hole where everything is just kind of growing up nearby it. Anything that can possibly find space to live is finding space to live down here. And here we go. A little bit of detail stuff later, this pond that previously was kind of eh, it was okay, is now gonna look really, really cool and bam i love that instead of just having a boring old spruce vanilla tree in here we've got this cool pond now and what i would like to do next is i know i didn't want to do some custom trees over there because it was going to interrupt the bamboo growth but let's go ahead and transform that tree and that tree and then we'll move back over to the village okay okay before i show this y'all before i show this to everybody here it's fair to say i got carried away but I like it. And a three, a two, and a one. Woo! We've got one big tree, two big tree like we had planned, and then I added in a few more of the little guys around here being the oak versions themselves, and I love it. Oh my gosh, this forest atmosphere down here. Added in a few fences with our lanterns there as well to give ourselves some light as we're walking along if we need to through the nighttime. And oh my gosh, this whole area down here is just beautiful. Oh, it's so good. So good. Wait, we have to see it with shaders. We have to. That right there. That right there is absolutely amazing. I love this. Oh gosh, the forest atmosphere through here is so, so good. What I want to do is bring in some sweet berries as well as some dark oak saplings and dot them along this area. I feel like sweet berries would be the number one choice for now, just to get a bunch of them scattered around the area. Helps make it a little bit safer and adds that little bit of that pop of red. And I grabbed a few sweet berries here for ourselves and walking through the village. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. And I've got a question for y'all. Do you think we should build a gatehouse with walls going around the village? So the gatehouse would be in this area right here. Then we'd have some walls going around the entire place. Let me know in the comments below. We could even instead do a form of like a hedge of sorts. That could be kind of cool, but just dotting a few of these berries around here, I think is gonna be a very cool. Only one has grown up, doesn't even have berries on it, but it looks amazing. And now I'll tell you what else is gonna be amazing. Folks, it is time for the mountain update. Let's kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode. 
The next three and a half minutes you are seeing here actually consists of over 12 hours of building on the mountains here. This included the subathon stream where we spent basically the entire eight hours building the mountains and doing a lot of crazy stuff around here. And oh my gosh, it is looking absolutely amazing. As you probably saw earlier on in the video, the entire mountain face on this front side here is now completed as far as getting the stone and the dirt in place. We're gonna have to come back through here soon and get the snow in because it's looking a little awkward with the snow next to it on the left and then nothing on the right. But oh my gosh, it's been really, really fun. There's actually been a lot of sections of this that I built and then reworked and then rebuilt and then taken back down and built up again. And what I've been trying to do here is avoiding having too many jagged, sharp peaks. You can see that one right there in the top center of the screen-ish. It's a little too sharp for me. So later on, we do come back through and like smooth those little edges out. And one thing I've been learning throughout this process is that I want to start having the dirt overhanging a little bit more on the snow. And you can see pillagers there off to the left side. And I got a question for y'all. Let me know how many pillager patrols you spot during the fact of this time lapse. He says, oh my gosh, I saw way too many while I was going through it. And I didn't even realize they were there while I was in game. But anyways, that's been a massive amount of work on the mountain there. And then moving forward to even more stuff going on, I wanted to start working on an area where we are gonna be building up a future castle or fortress, not gonna be a massive one. I don't wanna dwarf the scale and the size of the mountains we have, but I still wanna be able to build some sort of a mountain fortress that's going to be protecting the village. Obviously inside of the mountain, we're still gonna be doing that dwarven area, but I wanted something else on top of it. So there's a building, there's some structure to it outside of the terraforming project that we've done. So it's actually gonna be situated right here on this smooth out dirt platform that we're building up. I think it's gonna be really cool. I don't have many ideas for what it's gonna be in there quite yet, but I'm excited to get to that later on. I think it's gonna be a fun project to work on here. So I wanna first and foremost work on clearing out a big area that we can use. It's not gonna be the same scale as previous castles that I've done because I think that would just look way too massive on top of the mountain. More or less, if you've ever played Skyrim, they have those fortresses where the bandits live inside and they think they're gonna destroy the dragonborn and all that cool stuff. And it's like just a small fortress that it can house maybe 10 to 15 people. That's kind of the goal of what I wanna do in there. And then going it over on this side, I wanna start adding new detail elements to the build. On the far right side of the screen right now, you can see a little bit of the water and that got me inspired of I wanted to build a waterfall coming off of the mountain. So we're creating our own form of a riverbed for where all the water is gonna be flowing down. And we're dealing with a little bit of a problem here with the waters all turning into ice as we're going up. So if you have any ideas on how we can stop the ice from forming and so we can actually have some water going down all the way there, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna run and dry on ideas here, huh? get it? But anyways, it was really cool and fun to work on this thing here. I got something in the end that was able to make water go all the way down, but there's still a lot of ice forming you'll see towards the end of the time lapse here. That took way too long to build that dang thing, but dang, is it looking good. So we've got a lot of work done on the mountains now. I would say we are about 60% of the way done with the outside shape of these ones, and it's coming so well together here. I'm absolutely just speechless as the end result. And there we have it, my friends. A little bit of more snow has fallen with the weather, and oh my gosh, it's looking amazing up here. I absolutely love this thing. We will deal with that waterfall here soon. If you have any ideas on how I can fix that up, please be sure to let me know. But what I'm thinking here is this will start working its way down and actually merge into this terrain. And probably about at some point in here, we'll have a pathway that will lead us up to get into that fortress area. But I have to show this to y'all. Look at underneath the mountain range it's absolutely hilarious in here i love being able to look up above and just seeing the darkness of we built an entire basically cavern at this point still got to finish bringing all this stuff down to the ground over here and around these corners but we'll get to that eventually i just don't know what i want to do with that village quite yet but that's a-okay with me ignoring the terribly ugly hopper towers because i was really annoyed having to fly all the way up there each time We've got quite a lot of iron. I think I'm gonna pack this all up here because I've been running low on the stuff. So ooh, not anymore, not anymore. Gonna have to find something to do with these poppies here. So again, any suggestions on that, please let me know because I don't, I don't know what I wanna do. I'm never gonna use that much red dye. Something about cleaning up the Minecraft farms and just looting all your resources that have been generated from all of the auto farms for me is, it feels like just like completing chores for the day, but something you know that you're just like, wow, look at all of this iron I have. Look how many stacks of blocks of iron we have. There's four, five, six, 
seven almost and a half stacks of blocks of iron that is absolutely insane right there just off of this little guy been going while we've been working on the mountains thanks joel you've been doing a great job up there enjoy your cobblestone block okay seems very happy about it still the sheep farm under there has also been kicking butt as well but i don't have any way to store that stuff quite yet so we're gonna leave it there for now that's mostly going to be stuff that we grab and go as we're moving throughout building things on top of the mountains and doing all that fancy stuff. So it can just sit in there for the next little bit. There's the diamonds. There's the iron. We've got so much iron. I love it. I don't think I could even empty all of those blocks of iron into these chests. I think that's too much. That's too crazy. I will tell y'all what, folks, I'm still a little bit of a building mood here, and I want to get this butcher completed. I said we would do it earlier on, and dang it, we are going to be doing it today. I've got no idea what I want to do on this thing, but you know what? I think the best way we can figure this out is by, for round two, kicking this off in a good old-fashioned time-lapse mode. Let's do it. Again, trying to mix things up in here away from what we've had so far is I want to start incorporating a lot of new wood colors and things like that. So in here, I'm actually going to be including some blackstone as well as including some jungle wood. Interesting combination, but I think it actually worked out pretty well for ourselves. And I like the end result of this one quite a lot. We've got a little bit of a holding pen there in the coarse dirt, which we're going to bring a few animals over into and starting to set up the lower area in here. I want to start using blackstone more in these builds because I love the color from it. So here we're using it as our chimney block block because I think it's okay to have that stand out a little bit. We got a second floor coming up here of people who might be living above the butcher shop area, which I figure would be in the lower area with all of the jungle wood. And then coming up here, it's kind of time to start just adding everything in. I figured a way that we could distinctly show this is a butcher shop is one having the pork chops in the item frames, but two also the little carpet there with the red and the white. I don't know why for me, but that just screams like a butcher shop of sorts going on down here. So we got that added in then bringing in the roof. I wanted to break it up a lot. So it's not just all stairs everywhere by adding in a bunch of those windows, finally bringing in that final piece of the top chimney and getting everything else done in there. I think it looks absolutely awesome and actually fits in pretty well for everything. And here it is from the ground level. I really like this one. I think this build is actually gonna really need an interior to it. Otherwise it's gonna be kind of awkward. But on the inside space so far, what we got in here is a little bit of an area for the shop section. And then over here for the butcher to be able to do their work and everything would be that section. So I made it into stone walls so they would be easier to clean, I guess we could say also we need to build a fireplace of sorts into the wall there with all of the blackstone so very excited about this chimney over here i think it looks fantastic i really want to start incorporating that more into here a lot of people said that we need to start breaking up the roof colors and mixing it up so adding in some dark oak or things like that but i personally feel like it's a little too far gone into this build to do that on the typical village houses because otherwise i feel like those would feel too out of place if that makes sense the same way that this guy right here feels pretty out of place with the glass, but it being, being a greenhouse, it actually makes sense. Coming on over here, we are in the pig pen and where I want to breed these guys up. And then we're actually going to be taking a few of them with us over to the new location of the butcher shop because we got that little holding pen outside. Can we get you out here? Does anybody else want you wanted to go? Does anybody else want to go? A baby? Oh, I feel bad about that, but I guess you two are coming with me. It's okay. Don't worry, everybody. These piggies are just going to be for decoration. They're going to have a great life hanging in the middle of the market stall, square, whatever we want to call it, and they are going to be having a grand old time down there. Did we lose your buddy? Nope. They're just inside each other. Watch out for the berry bushes. Please do not run into them. Now, the final step is going to be, can I actually get these two in here? Yes? Maybe. There's one. Kind of. All the way in, buddy. All the way in. <gasps> Two. Both of you guys. Yes. Perfect. Welcome to your new home, my children. That honestly really completes the look having those guys over there. I love that so very much. I think that's awesome. One thing that I'm kind of not super happy about is these lanterns on the corner, though. I tried adding those in just to get a little bit more light throughout here. And I don't like that one there just because it felt like there's too much going on. But maybe we could come over here and just for now be able to just plop him on top of this. I don't know too much about what I want to do on this side. It's kind of waiting to get this building in and seeing what sort of a garden structure we would create inside that spot before I did anything to decorate this end over here. And we've got to get another tree. I mean, I guess we got everything else finished up so I can go ahead and throw this tree in and might detail this area out here a little bit more as well. Somehow we do have a few spruce leaves and spruce logs left from earlier in today for all those other trees that we built. So it should be pretty easy to get this guy over here. I think we can start off the base just something probably like a so. Yeah, we'll just do this. 
And then we can take this middle guy coming up all the way out here doing the usual stuff, which we need some dark oak fences, stretching these all over here. One thing I would say is I constantly get comments from people saying, oh my gosh, how do you build custom trees and all that blah, blah, blah. And just people being very scared of the idea of trying to make a custom tree in Minecraft. The one thing I can constantly say for that one that I've learned along the way is just make something that to you looks tree-like. There's no perfect formula for creating a tree. There's no perfect way to build one. They're all their own kind of thing throughout the entire way of not every tree looks the exact same as other. Even Minecraft has a lot of variation in the trees themselves. So if you if yours looks a little wonky or whatever, it's it's totally fine. I would say having ones that look a little different and sporadic and kind of off is better than having 15, 20 trees that are all cookie cutters and look the exact same as each other because then that's going to be even more boring because that's going to feel very, very artificial in the end. So for these ones, for example, I have a rough idea that I follow for a few different branch structures, but I have no idea how I'm going to be adding these branches in here as we're going up and doing all those different things. Sometimes I'll add the one with the three fences, sometimes I'll add the one with the two fences, and it just takes you all the way up to the top. And especially with the top sections, for these trees at least, there's a lot of branches that just be sticking out of the top as we do that little fancy thing up there, and it's okay. I know it doesn't look the most natural of sorts, being Minecraftiness, and this looks very wonky up here, but I feel like it's supposed to be new growth on the tree, and there was my face really, really close to you all. The newer growth is still trying to find which direction it's gonna bend. There could be heavy winds and all that stuff moving it all over the place, so it's fine if it just looks a little weird up there for now. And there we go, about five or six minutes later, we've got a really cool looking tree to sit back in here, lead up to the stump throne of sorts. If we ever need to have a good think, we can head on back there. But I really like that. I think that adds a cool element from back here in the village if we have another tree that's just a little bit closer than those ones. So when we're back in this area, I want to be able to look up and see a lot of trees and things around this area. Right now, we can only really barely see those and barely see that one over there. But my friends, that is something we're going to be handling in the next episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. That is all I've got time for in today's episode. Click that like button down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're brand new. And my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.